by adding product filtering to your online store allows shoppers to refine product searches based on multiple attributes like price, color, size, and even categories. Using filters on your e-commerce store can make it easier for shoppers to navigate products by allowing them to search the way they want to. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a product filter in WooCommerce. And let me show you what we will achieve at the end of this tutorial. Now if I come to the shop page of my website, as you can see right here, I can filter by price, by category. And you see on top here, I have maximum price to be 186 and that is what we are seeing right here. And the category selected is indoor plants. That is what we have here. And every single filter you perform will be part of the URL of your shop page. As you can see right here, I have indoor, which is a category of which the variable name is set as C. I also have the maximum price to be 186 and that is what you see right here. It should be noted that you can filter more than one category as you can see right here. So now I have low maintenance as part of the filter. Even the price filter you can enter whatever amount you want. So if I say 58, I will now have a minimum price to be 58 right here and the maximum price to be 186. Awesome. I can remove the filters by exiting them all from here just like that i can also click on reset or to remove them all at once perfect so if you like what you have seen so far buckle up and let's get started with a full step-by-step -step tutorial hello guys and welcome back to the channel where we show you how to make websites with wordpress and also show you how to buy and sell online businesses so if you are new here don't be a stranger anymore make sure you join the family by subscribing to the channel and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our future videos to add a product filter onto my online store just like this one i'm going to install a plugin to do that i go to the back end of my website then i go over to plugins click on add new and i search plugins i search for filter everything and this is the plugin i'm going to install filter everything woocommerce product and wordpress filter i click on install now it is installed i activate the plugin is installed and activated successfully and right here you see it as part of the menu under the admin panel upon hovering on it first of all let's see the settings of the plugin you can collapse the filters on mobile devices you can also move the sidebar to the top on mobile devices. It should be noted that selecting these features will depend upon your store requirements. You can also enable Ajax for filters. It enables background loading of the product filters. But to enable this, you need to make sure that the filtering is working properly. For now, I'll leave it as it is. The most important feature right here is the mobile devices feature. However, you can customize any of these settings whichever way you want. Next, let's go over to URL var names. Here you can add global URL variable names for all your filters. You can also add them during the creation of your filters. And that is what I'm going to show you. So we are not going to do anything here. You can also go over to experimental to see what they have there. There are so many settings you can do here. And the first set is for Ajax filters. These features right here will come in handy when you enable the Ajax filters. You can also enable checkboxes and radio button styling under appearance. You can use improved drop downs instead of the regular drop downs. Next is WooCommerce order by drop down. You can use this feature to hide the WooCommerce default sorting drop down. Let me show you what that is. If I go over to the shop page of my website, right here is the default sorting drop down. So if you want to hide this, this is where you can do that using the filter everything plugin. For now, we are just going to use the default settings. Now that we've seen some of the settings, let's go ahead and add our filters. To do that, I click on add new filter. Under add title, I just call it filter. The post type to filter at the moment is set to post. I drop down the arrow and I'm going to go ahead and choose products. Then I click on add filter. Next, I drop down the arrow under filter by. The first filter I'm going to add is products categories. So the filter label will be categories. Next is variable name for URL. Remember under settings, I mentioned global variable URLs. 
So this is where you can set them for every single filter you'll be creating. And you can use letters from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9. You can also use underscore and then hyphen. It should be noted that whatever value you'll be entering here will be part of the URL when the filter is applied. So I can enter in categories or maybe category instead of categories. If I don't want this to be too long, I can just enter the letter C to represent category. Next, I drop down the arrow under view in widget. And in here, we have options ranging from checkboxes, radio buttons, labels list, and then drop down. We also have range, but you will not be able to use range under products categories. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use checkboxes. And now my first filter is added. I can click on close to collapse it. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's get back to the video. I can add another filter. And this time around, I'm going to go ahead and add the price filter. So I'll choose custom fill num under custom fill filters. Next is meta key. In here, I enter underscore price. You can take a look at popular meta keys down here under WooCommerce. And you see that this is where I've gotten the price meta key from. Going up, the filter label will be price. Take note, the first letter should be capital. This is what users will see on the front end of your website. The variable names, I can just make it P. And the view in widget is going to be range. Because price is in number form, by default, it's going to be range. And you can see that the rest of the filter options are grayed out, meaning we cannot use them on custom field name. So range it is. All is set. I click on close. Let's add another filter. And this time around, I'm going to go ahead and add product color. Filter label will be color. Var name for URL, I will just enter in color. It should be noted that with the var name, you can enter the word in full or the abbreviated form. And I'm going to maintain checkboxes for that. For now, these are the three filters I want to add. So I go ahead and click on publish. Now my filters is set. Going to the front end of my website. If I refresh now, you will see it at the sidebar simply because it's not added yet. So to add it, I head over to customize. You see that upon clicking on customize, it has taken me to WooCommerce product catalog. Every single team comes with its own customization settings. I'm using the Astra team. So what I need to do is go ahead and click on back. I click on back. Next, I go over to widgets. Then I click on WooCommerce sidebar. At the moment, this is the widget we are seeing on our shop page. To add a new widget, you can go to the plus icon right here. Or down here below, you can click on add block in order to add your widget. So I click on the plus icon right here. Then from here, I can search for filter. In here, you see about three different filter everything widgets. We have filter everything chips, filter everything filters, and then filter everything sorting. And this is the particular one we are going to use. So I click on it. All right, it's applied, but it has come under the recently few products. So what I can do is scroll down right here. Then I go ahead and click on move up. In here, I can add a title for my filter. So I can just call it filter. And I'll go ahead and uncheck show number of posts found because we are not dealing with posts. When that is done, I click on publish. Then I exit from here. Now I test it out. If I select ceramic pots, I will be presented with products in that category. And you see the filter show right here. Now if I go over to the URL, after the shop page, you see question mark C. This C we are seeing right here is the C we specify for category. As you can see here, I have five ceramic pots on my online store. And that is the exact number you are seeing right here. As you can see, awesome. If I add plant accessories, you will now see 10 results. And on top here, you see ceramic pores and then plant accessories. Let me go ahead and deselect them. You can even exit it from here. Awesome. Next, let's see how we can filter by price. So I can just click here and move it to this direction. And I'll be presented with products ranging from $10 to $146. 
on top here you see that we have the maximum price to be 146 i can even enter whatever price i want maybe 100 to 146 so i have the maximum price to be 146 and the minimum price to be 100 dollars down here we also have our filter by color at the moment you don't see any numbers attached to them and the reason is that i don't have any product under any of these attributes but i just wanted to add it to show you how you can add different filters now you see that price is placed in between categories and color but i don't want it this way i want price to be on top followed by categories and then color how can we change this we can do that by going to our filter and right here i click on price and drag it to the top then I go ahead and click on update. It is updated. Now if I come to the front end and refresh, you now see that I have price on top, followed by categories and then color. Perfect. So that's it on how to add a product filter in WooCommerce. And I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, for more WooCommerce related tutorials, make sure you stick around to watch any of the two videos on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you inside any of the two videos.